Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Anime Studio Professional. I'm going to show you how to get things to bounce around like these bolts are doing here in this scene. So first uh, just stop this and make a new scene, new document. And um, first thing you want to do is come over here to the new layer button, make a new group, select new group and then drag the layer into the group and we'll call this one ground. And we're going to draw an object here that's going to be the ground. Click the add point tool and this object is going to be stationary. And we have our ground there. Then I'll put the first ball in. So make a new vector layer. And call this one white ball. And draw a white ball. So clear, auto stroke. Let's see if we can get some uh, basic colors here. Be easier to click on. Just draw it right up here at the top. And move it up with the uh, this tool here, the translate points tool. And then we'll make a uh, about a green ball. Click on the tool for making shapes. Click a green. Draw it out here. And next, um, well, we'll see what we can do with these. So I'll go back to the group here and then click the layers settings button and go to physics and click enable physics and now uh, click OK and physics is enabled for all of these so if I was to press enter these two balls and the ground would just fall right off the stage and we don't want to do that we have to set the ground to be stationary and the way you do that is double click ground go to physics and then click the uh, checkbox for non-moving object click OK now if we press play uh, they start moving around they seem pretty heavy and dense so we're going to change that click on the white ball first go to physics and then change the spring to about 80 and friction around 10 and then click OK and then watch what happens goes right off the uh, scene there so I'll go back to the ground here and make some some adjustments. Click the translate points, press enter on the keyboard, deselect everything and make these so that it won't go jumping off the screen. Okay. Maybe make a few adjustments to the green ball. Springiness maybe about 70. Friction about 20. okay so that's good um, now I'll put another ball that will shoot in from the side over here so make another layer vector and call this the red ball and then draw that out take off auto stroke pick a red and hold shift key to make it round and then double click the a layer go to physics and we want it to shoot in this way so we'll change the direction to shoot in here initial speed uh, just try modest one right now springiness it'll be about the same as the other ones 20 you can play around with this and see what you get press play Let's see it falls right in now maybe we want these to bounce around a lot, so let's turn the physics springing this up quite a bit. See if it's 1.80. Hmm. Yeah, it's better. So I'll change these to more reflect that. 
wonder if I can go 95 here. And the red one, just bring it up. So you just kind of uh, play with all this and see how your scene works. And that's how you do it to get physics working. Now there's a lot more that you can do with physics, getting balls to shoot out of cannons and uh, um, getting things to uh, move around with force fields and everything. And maybe I'll cover more of that in future tutorials. But this uh, helped me get going a little bit, and I uh, hope it helps you too. So have a great day, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye now.